The Harry Kane situation, obviously Bayern have put in another bid. Uh, £70 million pounds. doesn't look like Spurs are going to budge. That's what Alex Crook was saying earlier when we spoke about transfers. He's going to stay, isn't he? I mean, he is going to stay at Tottenham. Can you can you believe that it's come to this again? Is it that much of a shock? Look, I, I don't necessarily think that he is going to stay at Tottenham. I think that there is a chance that he will stay. And I would say that if you were betting on this, chances are he will start the season at Tottenham. Mm-hmm. But I think there's a long way to go. I think there's a lot of transfer news to come. I think that there's huge domino effects. And ultimately, I wouldn't be surprised if Harry Kane were to leave. I don't think it will be to Bayern. Although, again, I wouldn't be surprised. Because although people are being quite sneery about the amount of money, like 68 and a bit yeah, m- but million. For, but for a player with one year left. With one year left. It's nearly, um, it's nearly 70 million for a player with one year left on his contract. And I think Daniel Levy is a very shrewd businessman who will deduce that if they don't take this money this year, he will leave for nothing next year. Mm. Like, there's no way that Harry Kane is going to stay or sign a new contract. I just can't see that. That would just make no sense to but me. But he is the prize asset, so you're saying that Levy's basically going to wait and wait and wait and wait and get as much as he can, and then he'll go. I think he will hope to keep him, and he will try and benefit from the desperate situation that could befall a big club. Manchester United... I still believe there is a world where Kane ends up at Manchester United. When you think about the business that Manchester United are doing, they're signing a new goalkeeper, which is a prerequisite for who Manchester United want to be under Ten Hag. They've signed that fella from Chelsea as well, haven't they? What's his name? They certainly have. have, They've signed Mason Mount, which, as much as I don't like Mason Mount, I don't like his conduct, I think he's a wonderful footballer. And I think he will elevate that Manchester United midfield superbly well. I think he changes the entire dynamic of Manchester United. So they've rectified... To to, to, to potentially... Total challenges. Well, if Kane goes there, title challenges, absolutely. Like, they weren't they weren't a million miles off last year. There was a time last year when I believed that Manchester United could have launched a serious bid for the league. Yeah. It ended, I remember it was Eberiche Eze, I think. Was it Eze who scored? No, it was Elise who scored. That amazing at, free kick. At the free kick and the last kick of the game yeah. at uh, Selhurst Park. That draw that could have been a win, should have been a win, last kick of the game... That draw was the moment where I kind of went, OK, Manchester United, they're not there yet. Mm. They're not ready for this challenge he's yet. You've got to give praise to Ten Hag for this turnaround, though. No, he's, he's it, done a really good it, job. It is, uh, I'd say 90%, 90% of everything Ten Hag has done, he's got right. Yeah. But they've elevated the, the goalkeeping situation, which they needed to do. They've elevated the midfield that they needed to do. If Harry Maguire leaves, they will elevate the back line. Yep. Uh, everything is coming together, but they can't proceed. They can't be anything significant without centre-forward. Mm-hmm. And Harry Kane being being stuck at Tottenham, still being at Tottenham, a Tottenham team that had a torrid year last year. You know, we all talk about how bad Chelsea were last year, and we were. But if you swap Kane, you swap clubs in terms yeah. of their position. Like, Chelsea were dreadful, pitiful, embarrassing. But Kane Give got us, 30 goals. Kane got 30 goals. Tottenham were as bad as Chelsea. Yeah. They just got Kane. So, if Harry Kane is looking at this, thinking that he still could potentially leave, Bayern doesn't really feel like it will happen for me do, do Man United need to make sure they get Kane this summer how do you think they're looking at this do, do, or are they there going well do you know what he's probably not going to go because it's such a hard bargain to drive let's just wait till next season and we can try and grab him when he's when he's ready to go we're the obvious destination for him and we might have improved on last season ne- next season which will make him even more likely to go I think there's too much jeopardy in that from a Manchester United perspective like <laughs> They might not be in the European Cup next year. Mm -hmm. They might not be. I think they will be. They might not be. And therefore, he doesn't go to them. Equally, when he can choose his club, when it's a total free-for-all, when there's no transfer fee involved, Manchester United may not be the choice then. Mm. You know, Real Madrid could could then genuinely start sniffing around. Could they be an option this summer as well? Do you think they might swoop in? They've already gone for Bellingham. I I wouldn't be surprised to see Real Madrid make a a play for it. They've spent a lot of money already, that's Mm. a problem. But this new look, Real Madrid, you know, Camavinga, uh, Chouamani, obviously Jude Bellingham, the new Bernabeu, Harry Kane being a part of that, it could happen. I just don't know how... Like, Harry Kane is a very settled man, isn't he? Yeah. Like, Mauricio Mauricio Pochettino, uh, Mauricio Pochettino hasn't ruled out a bid at Chelsea. Oh, hasn't ruled it out. I'm not really suggesting. No, that. I don't think it will happen. No. I don't think it will happen. But I'm just, I'm trying to demonstrate that Harry Kane is a good enough player to pretty much have his what, pick what of clubs. What do you mean by settled man? What I, that confuses me a bit because he feels like to me someone who's wanted to leave for the last two seasons. I think he's a v- not enough though. He, he's well, wanted to leave, but he hasn't put a transfer request in. I think uh, yeah, but I think a bit of that. Well, yeah, but he did that thing when he didn't turn up to training. He didn't put a transfer request in, though. If you want to leave, you know you know a player, I mean a true determined victor, 
would have got out of that contract. Yeah. Even that ridiculous contract that was sewn up by his brother, the <laughs> six-year deal or whatever it was. He's William Gallas but, but, and say that he's going to score own goals. Yeah, <laughs> what, what, a, a, true, a true, a true determined player to get out of that, a true winner, would have managed it. They would have employed a super agent, you know, Keir Jurabchian would have been employed and yeah. told, get me out of this contract, whatever you have to do. And that would have happened. You know, Cesc Fabregas had a similar situation at Arsenal. He yeah. got out of it. He got out of it. One way or another, he made sure that he was playing for Barcelona because that's what his heart desired. I think that Harry Kane probably wants to leave Tottenham. I think he probably wants to play for Manchester United. But he hasn't tried hard enough. No, and and the upheaval isn't something that he's he's necessarily up for. Like I think he's settled in terms of his family life. Like he's a dedicated family man. Like I love Harry Kane. You know that. Like, Mm -hmm. and I don't think I've ever said that about Tottenham player. I just think Harry Kane is amazing. I think he's a sensational footballer. But I also love the way that he conducts himself. I think he's a true professional, a doting father, and a loving husband. I don't think that he wants to put his family through the upheaval. You know, going to Real Madrid, that yeah. would be a brave, it's a lot, selfish choice from a family perspective. Right, darling, we're moving to Spain. Yeah. Can you speak Spanish? Nope. Like, do you yeah. have any family and friends there? Nope. But we're Kieran going. Trippier's talked about how difficult that was. For it's, his family, it's re- but know. Manchester is still the same. Like, it's not. It's not the same. It's not. It's not comparable to moving to Spain, but it's still Brains difficult. A bit more. Yeah. It's still difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that he makes decisions for the family. Mm. But I do think that he's good enough. And, and that's why I don't think this buying one will come off. Tuchel loves him. Yeah. They're talking about signing Carl Walker, by the way, as part of a Kane mm. move. You know, he's his mate from England, his yeah. mate from Tottenham. Yeah. They're talking about Carl Walker going. Not to because, try and swing Kane not over Not only well. because Carl Walker no, is a no. phenomenal footballer. Yeah, yeah. But, but it's a sweetener. It would help, It's a sweetener. It? Yeah, it would yeah, help. It's yeah. a sweetener. How, right, as a percentage, as mm. a percentage... I just, I for me, I know, right, Bayern Munich, one of the biggest clubs in the world, I, I completely understand that, and I'm not saying that it would be, I actually, I really don't think it's a, a step down whatsoever to join Bayern Munich, I, I think it's a huge step up actually, but considering what you've just said about the uphill upheaval and also the fact that he wouldn't be able to go for the Premier League goals record if he did move there, and also given the fact that potentially, you know, let's say he wins the league in, in Germany, let's be honest, let's be completely honest, there will be the sneery lot who will say, oh, Kane won something, but he's gone over there and he's won it in a farmer's league. There will be that. He'd need a European Cup. He'd need a European Cup, exactly. He'd, right? he'd need we, a European think, Cup. Can you see Bayern winning one of those soon? Not with, really. him, with him, with him, maybe. P- potential, but, with him, but potentially. Really, actually. There's, there's another world, though. You know how you just said there, he goes and then you write off the Premier League record? Mm. I don't think you do. I think that he's oh, young he enough. Back. I think he's young enough to go to. I, I don't think Real. I don't think Bayern Munich is a choice. I think Real Madrid is a choice. Like I find, I find the yeah, Bundesliga agree, fairly I uninspiring. I find the Bundesliga yeah. fairly uninspiring. Like I don't think that's where he should go. But I do, if I were Harry Kane's mate, or and I, or, or I was his counsel, what I would say to him is, I would say that you are a truly elite player. You are a winner who has no wins. Yeah. We need to rectify that. We can do that very easily. You can be part of this new version of Real Madrid that is young, hungry, exciting, beautiful. The Bernabeu is new. Camavinga, Chuamani, Bellingham, Rodrigo on one side, Vinicius on the other. You lead in a line. You're filling in Benzema's role. You go there, you do it for three years, right? Yeah. In three years' time, he's 32. You then come back. You go back to Tottenham if you love it so much. You go to Real Madrid, nah, you win two Champions Leagues. Only... You go back to Tottenham the way Teddy Sheringham did. Teddy Sheringham went to Man United and won a treble. Yeah. He then came back, joined, yeah, joined Tottenham. Tottenham again, and and that is well, exactly yeah. and went West Ham. Like you come back, and remember, I think Harry Kane is like what sixty-ish goals. He gets sixty goals when he's thirty-two. Yeah. Of course By the he... way, sorry, there's only one team that he is joining to break that record. One team. Go on. It has to be who? Newcastle United. He has to break Alan Shearer's record. Oh, at Newcastle. At yeah, Newcastle. Yeah, yeah. I think he goes back and to he gets Tottenham. his own statue. If he were to do this, you know this theory that I'm suggesting here? Yeah. And if, like, Harry Kane should really I listen like to it. this. I think it's a I great like idea. It, yeah. He does go listen to, to Spain. the show. He does. Go yeah, to yeah. Spain, win two Champions Leagues, maybe a Copa del Rey and a La Liga title. Yeah. Come back. And, uh, like, it, it is about 50, 60 goals, isn't it? It's not many goals. He is on something like 207. Right. So, he's, so it's 50. We call yeah. it 50 goals, right? Yeah. He's so capable of landing back at Tottenham, age 33 even, stay mm. in Spain for another year, 33. Of course he could score those goals. Yeah. Of course he could. You know, think about the way that he plays the game. He is intelligent beyond 
anything that we've seen maybe since Sher- Sheringham himself. Yeah. You know, he is he is Dwight York and Teddy Sheringham, but also with the finishing ability of Andy Cole and Michael. Like, he's such a good player. Mm. There's no reason why at 34 he isn't a potent goal scorer. Yeah. Right, well, we have to break. I'm going to ask you li- literally one word answer. Where do, where do Spurs finish if they have Kane next season? With Kane, seventh. Without Kane? Tenth. 